friends. I'm super excited to draw a llama with you today. What I'm gonna ask you to do is go ahead and Google search a llama, or if you have a stuffed animal like I do, grab it and study it. Look at the different shapes, look at the proportions of the body, that nice long fluffy neck and the shorter, still floofy legs, and of course a little tail. I'm gonna have mine right off screen so I can look at it as I draw. It's always helpful to have something, a reference, a photo, an actual image or object to work from as you go. I'm gonna start with pencil in case I need to um, edit my work, which is of course totally fine. So here we go, we're gonna start with a little oval shape, okay? And go. Notice how it's really, really light because I might erase part of that. So here I go for the next part. We're gonna do our head and it's gonna go all the way down to where our, our neck and the body meet. So I'm gonna start, fluff, 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 pause. Same thing down here, fluff, 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 fluff. Now I'm gonna continue around to do the whole body, okay? Now before I complete it, I wanna make room for a leg. And then of course back here. And then you can connect them. If you wanna make a back leg, you most certainly can by adding just a little fluff back here and a little tail. Fluff, so it looks like the feet are in back. Of course, we can add a little tail. And it's time to add ears. Ears, I'm gonna sort of overlap here and just go whoosh, whoosh, and erase that line. If you wanna make them a little bigger or smaller, you can. I think I want mine a little more wide and small. And then of course, if you want another ear in the background, you can make one and just edit your work as you go. See how I just got rid of that fluff there? And now it looks like I have an ear behind there. It'll look a little better when <clears throat> I add my Sharpie line. Of course, I gotta erase that little bit in there. Now, of course, llamas don't all just have to be the same color, so if you wanted to add a few more fluffs to show just texture, number one, but two, to show the color differentiation, you totally can. Now, if you wanna get rid of this side of the oval so the face kinda of blends into the fur, you are welcome to. See how I did that there? But you can also leave it. It's totally fine. It's whatever you choose. Now, I think I want this llama to be asleep. So I'm just gonna close one eye like this. Maybe I'll add a few eyelashes there. And of course, needs a little, needs a little nose and maybe a little smile. And there's one llama down. Next, I'm gonna face my llama. So I did my llama this way. I'm gonna face my llama mm, right at the screen. Look at that adorable little llama. Mm. And I'm going to do a face on of just a head. So it'll kind of look like this one is really close and this one is a little further away. So I'm gonna start by making an oval shape. Here we go. One, two, three. Excellent. This is actually gonna be our llama nose and mouth. Okay, now we're gonna add some big, beautiful, adorable llama eyes. This one's open to the side. So cute. Now you can add fluff and then ears or ears then fluff. You totally get to choose, but here we go. Let's add it. All the way down. I'm gonna show where the head kind of ends. You can always add that there. And of course, ears. I think I like that one better. I'm gonna move this one up a bit. And that's it. That's your cute little llama looking right at the camera like, hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? Now you can change this, you can add 
eyelashes to this one. You can leave them out. You can make this even taller if you want. Like, add as much floof and fluff as you desire. It is your llama, my friends, okay? I think I want that to be a little fluffy too. And now you just go in, add your background, sharpie it up, and you'll be ready to go. Maybe this one is just grazing on a nice field. I'm gonna make my background very gentle. Maybe there's some, I think I'm into the mountain backgrounds right now, so I'm gonna add some of those. Maybe I'll add a sunset later, a few little bits of grass here and there. Anyways, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpie this color it in and I'll check back in with you when I'm done and there you have it all colored in I even added a nice sunset to the background because this llama was feeling nice and calm so I thought that would be a fun little addition and this dark part here that's the shadow my llama is casting underneath just in case you're curious can't wait to see what you make <laughs>